Hi guys and welcome to a new video, so today I got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 with me over here and today we are going to install and take a short look on MIUI 10 for this device. Right guys, so I will split this video into two parts as always. So in the first part of this video, we are going to take a short look on MIUI 10 for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So I'm not going to show you all of the fe new features of MIUI 10, but I'm going to show you how MIUI 10 works on the Redmi Note 4. In the second part of this video, I will basically show you how to install MIUI 10 on your Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 or Xiaomi Net Redmi Note 4X. Right, so now let's start with a quick review. So guys, even though this is called an alpha build, so one of the very first builds uh, of MIUI 10 for the Redmi Note 4, this is still a really, really great build, okay? So they are, I mean, almost everything is working on this ROM here. So you can see the camera is working without any issues. You got new modes over here. It looks even more like the iOS um, camera now. Um, the front facing camera is also working quite well. Um, yeah, so you can see Wi-Fi is working over there, the battery backup is still really really good, so you can see that I have 100% left still. Um, the SIM card is also working, but I have no SIM card installed on this device over here, and yeah, so these general things are all working without any problems. Right. So as you can see, this here is the new, not new notification panel of MIUI 10, so this is the probably even the biggest change um, you can see that it's basically a mix of MIUI 7 and MIUI 8 or 9 you can see that the background is blurred just like MIUI 7 and you got your quick toggles just like MIUI 8 or 9 and you can still pull it down twice to get more quick toggles and you can also edit these quick toggles directly from here what I didn't like here is that you have a button called edit which, which basically I mean you won't use this button that often and it basically annoys me a lot there um, what you can do is to press on the edit button and select another toggle so let's say sync over here and now you can see you got two pages and the edit button is on the second page so this is the only way how you can hide this um, edit button of the notification panel right you can also see that you have a really nice animation when you um, pull down the notification panel or pull it up so it's really amazing you can see uh, it's an animation which we haven't seen before on any ROM and yeah so the recent apps panel has also been changed as you can see now you need to swipe to the right or to the left to dismiss an app um, and you need to swipe up or swipe down to see the other apps which are opened in the background you can still enable this ram usage thing over there and um, split screen mode is still there and it basically works how it did before so you can drag and tap at an app at the top and you can open another app just like the calendar for example and you can see the um, multi window is working just like it did before right so now let us open the settings from here so here you can see the new settings page it looks a, diff a little bit different than it looked on MIUI 9 but it's pretty similar so let's go to the my device section here and here you can see that it is MIUI 10.8.6.19 it's an alpha build as I've said before here you can see the specs of your device and um, as you can see it says Redmi Note 4X over here because I've installed the firmware of the Redmi Note 4X but this here is actually not the Note 4X it is um, the normal Note 4 now let's go to all specs here, you can see that it's still based on Android 7.0, which is a little bit disappointing because you know that, you know, Android Oreo got launched in 2017, I think, and now we are in mid-2018, so it's sad to see that this device is still running on Android Nougat officially, but um, yeah, we can't change that. Right, here you can see the kernel version, the uh, available storage, it's still the same I guess and yeah the Android security patch level is the fifth um, month so it's quite okay and yeah so now let's scroll down so you get still your uh, standard thing like sim cards uh, Wi-Fi and so on um, but here in display mode there are some new things available so you know that the Redmi Note 4 
and Note 4X had really really less options in the display settings. You were only able to change the brightness or um, change the font size etc. But now you can also change the colors from here which is really nice to see. And there's also Ambient display now over here. As you can see um, you can turn or turn that off. Right, you can still change the system font and the text size and you can also enable the reading mode which is really nice if you are using your phone in the night. Right. So now let us scroll down and here in the lock screen and password um, menu here there's actually nothing new even in the advanced settings there's nothing new but the fingerprint seems to unlock your phone a little bit slower than it did before so you can see when I press or when I place my finger on the fingerprint scanner over here, it takes some time until the phone is unlocked. So it seems to be a little bit slower than it was on MIUI 9, but I'm pretty sure that they will fix it with a stable build in near future. Right. Right, now let us open the notification and status bar menu from here. So here you can see that there's actually nothing new. You still got your notifications folder for your unimportant, not unimportant notifications and the notification panel over here and so on. You still got your settings for your app notifications. You can show the notification icons on the status bar here and so on. So these are all nice things. But um, the disappointing thing here is that you cannot separate your notifications from the toggles anymore. So probably you can remember it that on old MIUI 9 versions we were able to separate the toggles from the um, notifications. So you had two pages, one page for the toggles and another page for your notifications. But this is not there anymore, unfortunately. Right, now let's go back from here. So you still got your second space and all that for getting two accounts. Um, you get your MIUI lab over here. So here are some nice features like the car mode and so on. You still got your light modes if you think it's really hard to use this launcher over here. And in the additional settings there's also actually nothing new. You have something something called Taplos. But as you can see, um, if you try to turn on this thing here, you will get some Chinese things. So this here is the Chinese ROM. Um, you can face to some Chinese um, letters here and there. But uh, overall the system is mostly in English if you set the language to English. Right, you also got your developer options, so here's actually nothing new. Um, I would recommend you to set the notification, the, the animations to 0 0.5 to get a better experience. And yeah, so this is basically it. Now let me show you how to install this MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 4 or Redmi Note 4X. So there are a couple of things which you need to do before you install MIUI 10 on your Redmi Note 4 or Redmi Note 4X. The most important one is that you need TWRP installed on your phone and to get TWRP installed on your phone you also need to have an unlocked bootloader. So this is the very first thing. Unlock your bootloader and after that you can install TWRP. Then you will need to download the ROM so you can download the ROM from the description of this video and then you are ready to go. So the first thing what you need to do is to turn off your phone. So let's do that quickly. Then when the phone is turned off, press on the volume up button and the home button until the phone boots up to the TWRP recovery. And here we are. So the first thing what you need to do is to go to the wipe section here and go to advanced wipe and wipe the devlic system data and the cage. So together with that you will lose your system, you will lose your apps and so on and your settings. Um, but your photos and everything else what you have stored in your internal storage will still be there because we are not going to wipe the internal storage here. So select these four things and swipe to wipe. After this is finished, you need to locate your ROM. So first of all, go to the install section here and locate your ROM. So this here is the, um, the MIUI 10 ROM. Press on it and just swipe the flash.
And as you can see, the installation process is finished and that's basically it. So together with this ROM, you won't get the Google um, G apps on the ROM. So you won't get the Play Store and so on. You can try some G apps, but um, I think they won't work on this ROM. So you won't get the Play Store and so on. And yeah, what you need to do now is to go to this. Um, or you can basically press on reboot system to reboot to the system and swipe to reboot. So now the phone will reboot and then we are basically done and yeah. So here you can see that the phone has um, rebooted now and you can see that this um, it says that the device is locked at the moment and first of all you will need to go to the uh, Wi-Fi settings from here or basically use your SIM card to connect to the Wi-Fi so let me do that quickly um, then you need to go back and go to activate this device and here you will basically need to set in your password of your me account so let me do that quickly and as you can see, that's it. So now you can basically change your language. If you are a Chinese dude, you can also use Chinese from here. Um, but if not, I would definitely uh, use English because this ROM only has um, Chinese and English available. So select English, press on next. So we are already connected to the network. So you can press on next again, agree, say next and say skip. If you don't have any SIM card on your phone, press on next. Um, I'm not using this me cloud thing, so I'm going to turn off this off from here then press next again And here you can also set a password, so I'm going to split, skip this also um, And I'm also going to turn off These things from here then press next and here you can see the themes of me UI 10 So here you have the standard theme which is the same just like in me UI 9 and yeah here at the right page you can see the screenshot of the new theme so basically select the new theme because it looks much better in my opinion but i'm not quite sure i think this theme was also present on miui 9 um yeah after you have selected your theme press on next again and then you are ready to do <laughs> then you are ready to rock right um then press on this arrow again and then we have installed my ui 10 on our Redmi Note 4. So this was basically it. If you liked this video, guys, press on the like button. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike, as always, and yeah, peace out.